All right, here is a tour of my new workspace. Tour's over. <laughs> That's really it. Um, so I went from a giant garage to now having to have just one table um, and some storage space underneath. So I am trying to make the best of it. And I got one of these to like have my little pop socket holders, keychain holders. This is why I said I'm transitioning to doing just smaller projects. Um, here's like shipping supplies. I love to work with these little pipettes for some of the details in the smaller projects. So yeah, very simple. I have a whole bunch of glitter mixed up and labeled. So more Peacock Passion, which is the top selling one. That one always sells out very quickly. Um, and then this one I just made, and I think that you guys are going to love it. It's called Purple Flurple. And it's very similar to Peacock Passion, except it's mostly purple with like lavender and some holographic. So it's really pretty. Um, and then I even went ahead and labeled the tiny samples that I'm going to send people. Um, so if you order one, you get a sample for free. So if you're wanting a specific sample just let me know and i can try to put that in there if i only have one sample left of something though then i'm gonna have to keep it aside um so that way i can color match later because these are all hand dyed um and it takes me a while to do it and i don't want to just guess what the color looked like before so i will keep all my individual small samples once there's only one left um Here's another one of my favorites right here, Mermaid's Tail. Look at that. Isn't that so freaking pretty? I love it. This one's probably is my favorite, actually. That one and the Peacock Passion. But yeah, let me know if you guys have questions about that. I'll be doing some small geodes um, on wood with these and probably coming up with some boxes and stuff, too. So um, you guys can have, like, a kit. The only thing you'll have to do is buy the resin because I have not found someone who... Um, is willing to partner with me for those small resin things just yet. I'm sure I will. If I do, then that'll be included because I would love to have, you know, something like this. Um, that way we can work with white and um, just I need it in smaller containers because we're going to do smaller projects. All right. I know. Doesn't that look so beautiful? Color coordinated rainbow. Sorry, it's super dark hair right now. But yeah all my shipping stuff my kitty she says hi <laughs> and then i have my cricket hiding back there that's how i made my labels so i guess i have a little extra storage um right next to my food storage <laughs> uh, it's a it's a tight space right now but it's okay this is definitely perfect little setup right here let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you haven't had a chance yet to check out the Summit Epoxy um, transition, I guess they're my old Abstract Boss Facebook and Instagram, and I switched them up to Summit Epoxy because I am starting a business here in Montana with my dad. So huge changes coming up. You guys will be a part of all of that. Um, yeah, we're just starting out with showing my small workstation now. <laughs> um, we sold our house in North Carolina, so... Now we're in Montana, and until I can find a good house, we are living in my mom's basement, or my dad, mom and dad, parents. So yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a little small. We're not used to that small, but I kind of like it because it's not as hard to clean. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's head on over to the workshop, and I'll show you everything there. It's not a lot. <laughs> so before <laughs> I go to the workshop, just wanted to show you guys this. I'm going to be cleaning this up. And this is actually going to be my messy area. So I'll be able to do all my sanding and saw work and all that good stuff in here. All right. So now let's go to the workshop. So this... <laughs> Montana. 
<laughs> that was like a piled up. Look, here's my walking path because my dad's shop is at the house. So <laughs> I have to walk to the shop through the snow. It's funny. This is nothing though. I actually grew up here and we have to stand out waiting for the bus in the snow because they never had a consistent pickup time. So it was freezing. Now keep in mind, this giant shop is shared by my dad, me, and two other people now. And there's water falling on me. All right. I'm not showing you that passcode. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. All right, you ready? Here it is. Oh, there's a boat. That needs to be fixed though. And there's the truck. And let's go over here to my section. It's a glorious little section consisting of shelves. <laughs> this is basically my storage. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is gonna be interesting. But here's, I'm gonna walk you guys through some of the samples that I've been working on. I did a really pretty gray marbled inspired look. And then, ooh, look at that pretty one. I like that one. Okay, this one's a bit dirty, a little dusty. It gets super dusty out here. My fingerprints. Um, so this one I did black with gold veins. I still need to do the top coat on this. Look at those. Super pretty though. And then these ones, if you followed my Instagram, you've probably already seen these. Here's a super soft gray that I did. This one right here. Look, he uses this little... I have this shelf and he still uses it gotta love him all right check that out too many lines i know but i was just practicing technique that was from the online countertop epoxy workshop that i did which i'm going to their actual workshop here november 9th so i will of course update you on all of that too here's the high gloss finish and then here i was just sanding trying something different um, but I didn't like focus and I didn't have the right grit. So you can kind of see the little textures here. So I'll, of course, after I get all of these things worked out, I'm of course going to share all that information with you. And then this one is a soft, like Baltic Brown, I guess. Um, it's like a really dark brown copper. Oh, it's so hard. There we go. And then look, it's got some gray in there. Could you imagine how cool that would be on a countertop? Then we got this one, which this one I almost did um, for a client already, but she fell in love with my coffee table more. So then I ended up doing that pony wall, which I already have the video out of that. So if you haven't seen that, I will put that here. This one, I put the um, top coat, so look at this. Nothing, you see nothing. It's super protective if you have kids that like to mess around with countertops. It still gives you a high gloss finish, um, but it, well not high, it's not like epoxy high gloss, I'm so sorry. Correcting myself there. It's still a high gloss finish. It's just not epoxy shine. Um, so you guys, I mean, you can, you're looking at it. You can see it's still beautiful. And then this one, I used the matte top coat. And this one, the matte is actually more durable. But again, nothing. 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 I love it. And so things like this, I actually think are smarter to put on the countertops um, just because they are going to protect 
everything and they're food safe. So they're going to protect everything that your clients are going to do on those countertops way more personally I see than just the epoxy finish. Epoxy is amazing, but having these top coats makes it even more epic. And then this one is the agate inspired. Let's see, pretty cool, huh? And it's just a black and gray. Nice. And then, all right, here's my favorite. Also dusty, because it's a dusty place. This one, I made up all on my own. This one is called Cracked Patina. Check that out. Isn't that so freaking cool? So this one, there's so many bubbles. I still have to sand this down and do the top coat on this. Um, and the board was warped, but I still got it to look super cool. So you can kind of see how it runs a little bit because it was warped. So it just kind of goes to show the importance of leveling. But I struggle with that with the garage in North Carolina. But here, um, I can level like this entire cart and it'll be just fine. So that's kind of, that's my update for now. I have a bunch of different products down here that I'm trying out. Um, I have my wood pieces that I'm going to be doing some pours on. I have another statue that I'm going to make a geode with. So that's like more upcoming videos. I have a pyramid that I'm going to be making for my mother-in-law. Um, her mom passed away. And so my husband's grandma and um, she's going to send me her ashes. And so I'm going to layer her ashes in here and I'm going to do that as a really cool YouTube video. And then, yeah, I just, I highly recommend having as many containers as possible. Helps out a lot. You guys can see what's going on up here. But yeah, let, let me know what you guys think um, about all these changes. I know it's a lot, but I would love to hear your input and things that you would like to see from the countertop side of things because I will be doing a lot more countertop videos than anything else since that's going to be my main focus now. So I want to make sure that I am answering all your questions and helping you guys figure out the ins and outs of epoxy countertops because I know it can be very confusing and very overwhelming when you're first getting started. Let me know. I would love to help you guys out and I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you Here's soon. An awesome behind the scenes. I just got this from Amazon. Look at that. Blue light recognizes that I put a cup on here and it's going to keep it warm <laughs> because I'm really bad at drinking my coffee super fast. So now I'm going to pull out my computer and I'm going to get started editing this video.